Okay, so in today's video, we've got a Worcester Bosch ERP with a block plate heat exchanger. Um, diagnosed this by running the hot tap and the temperature was reaching over 90 degrees. Uh, so we've got blocks in the plate heat exchanger. Now these ones are not like the older styles where I could drop the plate out the back because you've got the gas pipe here in the way. I've tried it before, but that gets in the way. So it looks like I'm probably going to have to take the pump and everything out and then take the plate out like the old way. But I'll try, I'll see if there's a way I can drop it out the back by looking underneath. But from my first attempt on the ELP ones, I couldn't do it. But I think I have seen a couple of people do it before. So I'll give it a try, I'll have a look. If not, we'll just do it the long way by taking the pump out and go from there.
see if we can do something. Replace it up. All right, I've got the new plate. Just uh, going to grease it up, grease up the back of the O-rings, and then slide this back up. All right, that's all greased up. Back of that's all greased up. So I literally, just got to slide this in the same way as we took it out. So up between. The cold and the turn. Get it up there. Give it a little wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. There we go. Now it's just a case of getting it into position. Uh, people need to stop calling me. Let's reject that for now. Right, let's. First, so In. Let's hold it in place with one hand and let's tighten up the screws. back in. Now what I'm going to do on this is we'll have to cut it. Got a butterfly valve. Let's bring this back down again. Stick on the butterfly valve so I've got a point of isolation for future maintenance and it acts as a coupling to do the cold up again. Shove that one there, set of grips. And oh, who's calling me now? Go away. Okay, so my camera battery died at this point uh so i couldn't film the rest of it but you guys got the gist of the main bit you managed to see the main part how i took the plate out how i put the new one back in uh, the ending was literally just i put the butterfly valve on the cold inlet and then just connected the uh cold pipe back into the manifold uh, onto the jig sorry um and then yeah got it all tested it was all up and running uh tenants were happy i was happy on to the next one but yeah, it's just some um, little tips and tricks um, that I like to do when I'm working on Worcesters. Everyone's always about taking the block out. If there's an easier way, I'm happy to show it. It's going to help us all out. So again, hope you guys enjoyed this video.
Um, please like and subscribe if you don't already. And I'll be sure to be putting on more videos as we're getting into the busy season. Hopefully I'm going to have time to make more footage and more videos. Enjoy.